Hey church family, welcome to Pause to Pray on a beautiful Tuesday. So glad that you are joining me today. We are going to be praying about a whole bunch of really important things because God calls us to pray. And when we pray, we are not just listing off requests to God. When we pray, we are not just performing sort of a empty religious ritual. When we pray, we are talking to the creator God of the universe, the one who knows everything, sees everything, understands everything. And I hope that when we talk to him today, no matter what you are going through today, that when you realize and when you think about the fact that God gets it, whatever it is going on in your life, whatever you have questions about today, whatever when you look out at the world or your family or whatever it might be and you think, Man, I don't understand why things are the way they are, why this has happened, what what is going to happen next, and why I'm on this path. God is the one who understands, okay? So today, when we are coming to Him, we are bringing requests, we are bringing questions, we are bringing praises, we are opening up our heart and sharing how we feel. But we're doing this all not, not to somebody who has the same questions we have, but to someone who understands perfectly the one who understands everything perfectly and his timing his ways his thoughts they're all beyond us but when we come to God in relationship we come primarily through trust and today I just want to encourage you before we share some requests before we pray to approach God today with a posture of trust and it's really hard to do that, right? But that, that is in itself the challenge. Do we trust God, who knows everything and we don't, to be doing what is ultimately best for us, for our communities, and for the sake of the whole world? Because the scriptures tell us, God does not desire the sinner to perish, but that he may repent and turn and live. and. And this is everything going on in our lives around us and the world around us is all part of God's desire for people to come to him. People who are rebellious and stubborn and disobedient like me. But God wants people all around the world to come to him. God's come out to us, right? If you were there on Sunday, Jesus, the good news is Jesus has come into the world to go and seek and save the lost, to go and meet the us sinners where we are where we were so let's come before God and trust him today with whatever's on our hearts a few things that we're gonna be praying about today uh, we are praying for uh, Marg and Harvey Harvey is still ill so we are gonna continue to pray for Harvey for restoration of his body and for restoration of Marg and Harvey to be able to be back together again at home soon we are continuing to pray for the conflict that's happening in Israel and Gaza. Uh, we continue also to pray for the conflict happening in Ukraine. We, we know there are many other conflicts happening around the world and these two have become so, um, so significant to many of us in the way that we've heard about them, we understand them. Um, I know for some of you, you're gonna have other conflicts that are maybe First and foremost in your mind, things going on around the world, but we're going to continue to pray for these two, and I encourage you uh, to pray and keep praying to God about the other conflicts, many of them I know, that are happening around the world today. We're also going to be praying for missionaries this Sunday at church when you are joining us online or in person. Uh, you will find that we are celebrating and focusing on uh, missions work, both locally, nationally, and internationally. We're going to be talking for, uh, about and hearing from missionaries that we support as a church and work that is going on here and abroad. Uh, so we're going to be praying for Jesse Britton. Uh, we're going to be praying for Michael Van Oosteveen. We're going to be praying for Sydney Pierce. We're going to be praying for Stan and Sally Bragg. Uh, there are many other missions groups and people that we work with as a church, um, sometimes short-term uh, mission stuff. I mean, you know, we, we partner with them for a season. Uh, so there's many to pray for. Those are just a few of the names of people that we work with regularly. And uh, and lastly, there's a, there's an illness, uh, uh, actually someone who's suffering from the the after effects of several concussions in our church 
uh, and actually I know of several people, one in particular that, um, that were just has come up and we're praying for people who are suffering, suffering with these illnesses and um, the after effects of concussions. Uh, one person in particular um, just has come up recently that we're going to lift up before the Lord for healing and restoration for them. Uh, for whatever else is on your heart, uh, for confession, for praise, whatever it might be, let's just take a moment, let's walk together here, uh, and in a moment of silence, I encourage you to bring uh, your praises, your requests, your confessions to the Lord, uh, and I'll just open us up. Father God, as we walk through life, we acknowledge and confess that you are the one who has made us, who knows us, who loves us, and who is the only one who can save us and redeem us from our error and sin. We praise you for your grace, and we come to you now with confession and with our requests. God, hear us as we come to you. Lord Jesus, you are so good, and we know that you are watching over your whole world as you rule and reign right now. But in particular, we want to lift up Harvey and Marg to you, and we pray for your grace and your healing touch to be on Harvey. We pray for uh, doctors that are helping him right now, and we pray that you would give them grace and wisdom. God, we pray for peace for Marg and that you would give uh, joy to them as they are able to be reunited soon. Lord, we pray this in Jesus' name. Lord, we come to you as well, knowing that there are so many people who are hurting because of the conflicts in Israel and Gaza right now. The children who cannot go to school and walk the streets safely. The parents and the adults who cannot work, they cannot do the things that they need to do, like get food and water because of the conflict. We pray for the, the people who are suffering because they have lost loved ones, because they cannot find them, they've been kidnapped, because they've been killed. The tragedy that they are experiencing, God, we can hardly begin to fathom. God, we lift them up and we pray for peace. We pray that you would bring peace to a region torn by war. We pray this as well for the conflict that has continued to rage in Ukraine. We pray this over the many other areas of conflict in the world. God, bring your peace and your light, the light and the goodness of the gospel. May the Christians who are there be a light. May you protect them and uphold them. Christians in many difficult and persecuted or war-torn situations, God, make them light and peace bringers in dark places. Show us how to do our part here where we live in a country of great peace and wealth. God, show us how to be people who live as lights here as well. God, we praise you that your good news has gone out and continues to go out all throughout the world. We pray locally for Jesse Britton and for Sydney Pierce, Jesse with YFC and Sydney with the work she does with Scripture Union and the sports camps that we partner with every year. God, we pray for Michael Van Oosteveen, who is in Guatemala, and we pray that you would have your hand on him and the ministry he gets to do with youth with a mission. God, we lift that, that whole organization up to you and pray that you would bless it and bring people to a saving knowledge of you who do not know you uh, in Guatemala. And Father, we lift up Stan and Sally Bragg. We thank you for the long-term relationship that we have been able to have with this wonderful couple that serves you and serves the First Nations people in Sagin. We pray that you would help Stan and Sally be perceptive and gentle and patient as they work with a people that has suffered so greatly and carries so much pain, but carry so much hope and potential. And I pray that we and Stan and Sally would continue to see that and pray for them along those lines for a great healing and restoration among Aboriginal people in Canada, not just in Saugeen, but all over the whole country, Lord. And we pray as well for this, uh, for this person in our congregation suffering from the effects of multiple concussions. 
and we pray that you would bring restoration and a, and a recovery that goes smoothly with, uh, with uh, very few side effects, that all these side effects of the concussions um, would be healed. And we pray this in the name of Jesus, asking for restoration and asking for a, a healing for this whole family um, in a very difficult time. Lord, for the other requests we've brought to you, for the praises, for the things we're thankful for, God, help us to be people of great gratitude, knowing that you bless us abundantly beyond what we can ask for or imagine, that you have done for us amazing things. Lord, we lift up our church and our town. We lift up our country. We lift up our whole world to you. And thank you, Lord, that you love the world so much that you sent your son, that you came to save us. So we praise you and we love you and we thank you. And we come to you in the name of our King Jesus. Amen. Thank you for praying with me today. And wherever you go, whatever you do, do everything that you do today as service to the Lord. And may he bless you and keep you. We'll see you next time.